Okay, round two against Walka, and unfortunately the six land Aetheling Hand is uncubable even on the draw, especially on the draw, you might say. Uh, this hand's also pretty bad. How many lands am I playing? I don't even think I remember. 27 lands? That's a lot. It's, I'm gonna mulligan this hand because there's nothing, but if I draw a Blood Crypt or a Guild Gate or something in this hand, it'd be pretty good. Oh no. I thought it'd be pretty good because I have a bunch of removal spells to live against this creature deck, but he's playing Esper, so I think I'm just dead here. So, oh man, I should have just kept the six land Aetherling hand. It's very good against Esper. Because <laughs> they have no creatures for me to kill. If this is a Night Veil Spectre, I'm just going to bounce this guy. Uh, I guess there's no point in bouncing it. Because if I draw a Red Sorcerer, I would just kill it. So I might as well wait till my turn. Fortunately, I did not draw a land. Now I'm dead. I actually don't want him to have two lands, so I'm gonna give him verdict and a land. <laughs> Cause I know if I was in I were in his position and I saw two islands far and away, I would snap take the two land pile. I'm so far behind. I don't think I can win this game, but. And I don't want to show my red, but I'll keep playing it out because the sideboard doesn't actually change against me. There's this precinct captain. And I can play around syncopate, so I'm just going to kill this now. Blue red. I could play my static caster, it doesn't really do that much. This Jace is gonna kill me. He can minus it again if he wants, yeah. So if he draws a revelation, I'm pretty dead here since I stumbled on lands. Why can't I move this over? Okay. And he just like snap takes the Sphinx's revelation, because I have nothing to match that. And I'm pretty dead here. Unless he revelates for... doesn't play around is it charm? Which I've already played one, so he knows I have him. No respect for syncopate or anything. Okay, maybe he just has nothing in his hand. Maybe he has a bunch of supreme verdicts. It's entirely possible. Or maybe he just has another thing as a revelation. Yep, the untapped land it would indicate that he indeed does have another thing as a revelation. Though I don't really get why he'd play it during... Okay, Aetherling. Oh, geez. And that's game. There's nothing they can do with Aetherling. I have no, no rule in my hand, so I'm, I'm actually just dead. This matchup, the turn and burns, super come out. The static casters are... Actually, he has the... Oh, let me board in these and see how much space I have left. Because he has the... Precinct Captains. So, is the Static Caster not the absolute worst, but with Jace and Ralzarek, I think I can just board out all the Static Casters and not feel too bad. Because he'll likely also board in the Night Veil Spectres, uh, and Obsidot as well. So, actually, I probably want some turn and burn. I don't think I can run in just far and away. But I don't really want to board out any of these cards. Because Ralzarek's fine, even though it's not ideal. It still is a planeswalker that can provide me a little bit of inevitability. Kills his Night Veil Spectres and Precinct Captains, so let's try this. I would love to play first. Uh, this hand's pretty iffy, but I think I'm going to keep it anyway, because the turn 3 Night Veil Spectre on the play is very good. If I can draw that third land. I wish Think Twice was in this format. It's a card I very much enjoy. Okay, I drew it in six drop, so that's not good. If I don't draw a land next turn, I will likely just use as it charm to pitch two cards so I can draw a land. Which is not the ideal use of as it charm, but I'm not going to sit here doing nothing. If he dispels this, okay. I could 
play. I can't afford to play around syncopate this game. This either resolves or it doesn't. I, I'm never gonna have the land to play around syncopate. So if he has it, it's gonna counter it no matter what. Okay, he doesn't have it, so he has to removal spell it. Maybe a wrath or something. Okay, away. And I get to resolve my Jace. Thankfully, drew a land there. <laughs> that was a very lucky draw. I uh, go ahead and minus it in this matchup because the cards are way better than the possible. I'm going to take the land no matter what pile he puts it in. Okay. The Rockchester return would be nice, but I can't do anything with it without land. Okay, sweet. Ooh, I drew a Razorek. I think I'm going to play that and start pumping it up. Uh, just so I can try to take some extra turns, put some extra pressure on the board. It also allows me to deal with his Jace in a little bit. That way he can't just slam Jace and minus to it, because I'll kill his Jace. Zorius Charm, sure. Okay, he missed land drops, which is pretty unlucky, because I uh, I didn't have any lands to... I kept a two-lander and tried to Izzet Charm. So I could play my Aetheling here, but I can't protect it, so I'm just going to pass turn. Razak's pretty close to ulting. He needs to deal with it, and I have a Syncopate in hand, so I'm not quite sure how he's going to do that. Is this an Obsidot? Pay two life for a land. Uh, it's his own Jace. Okay, he's going to fight fight over my Jace, or fight over my Syncopate, which is fine, because I have a Dispel. I have two Dispels, even. Oh wait, he left up no black mana. <laughs> to another Aetherling. Uh, I can actually play Aetherling and then untap a, a land so I have a blue source open. I wouldn't do this if he had all his mana available to him, but since he only has one left, I can go ahead and uh, untap a blue source and flicker it. But if he had the, the all his mana, he could like far and away my guy. I would have to blink it in of turn and come back if he doesn't second main. And then he would go to his turn and like wrath it or something. Supreme Verdict did. Man, I wanted old Rouserek. Please. Please. <laughs> How many turns do I get? Uh, I still think my board is fine. Uh, I kind of want turn and burn, but my I don't think anything's sufficiently worse than turn and burn. in order to warrant sideboarding it. The sand is very good. It has plenty of lands and two counter spells and a removal spell for his uh and a Rakdos return. Really, what more could you ask for? You have to be careful about tapping out though. Uh, because at any point someone could just like if I tap out for Rakdos return and he counters it, he can resolve his Jace. Which is not good for me. This is a Night Veil Spectre, I'm gonna have to kill it. But I'll probably let it get hit on me first. Just so I can counter the Jace. If he I can't let him resolve Jace. He can play anything but Ralzarek and... Yep, <laughs> there goes a Ralzarek. Okay, looks like he's gonna jam Jace. Which is questionable. <sighs> I'll take another hit from the Spectre. It's not ideal. It's actually far from ideal, but I don't have any advantages right now to allow him to resolve something large. Okay, he drew a Jace, so I counter that and then kill this guy. Then I'm out of counter spells. I probably should have put a stop end of combat to kill it. Yeah, that would have been much better. I 
could make him discard his hand, but it doesn't really do anything. Yeah, I think it's pretty greedy for to let me to live an extra turn. I should have just gone ahead and pulled the trigger. Not let him hit me again. Because now he just plays the Jace from his hand, or his Send Collector. That's actually pretty ideal. Uh, he tapped out so I can resolve this at Rakdos' return, and I get pretty much full value out of it. Because he only has one mana, and it's a sorcery. So he's down to one card in hand to my Night Veil Spectre. So what's he got? Show me what you got. Okay, he discarded a Blood Baron. So he must have like a Jace or a Obsidot? Maybe not. Okay, I'm not sure what he's on here. Maybe a way. Maybe Sphinx Revelation for one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the powerful cycle of Sphinx's Revelation. Okay, he plays his own Spectre. And I have Aetherling. Which he cannot counter. I'm going to go ahead and pay an extra life to keep my Aetherling here. Yeah. I don't think the life point matters, and I don't know if the mana matters, but I'd rather be extra safe. <laughs> Sure, dude, just be a sack. I can't move this Aetherling over. I don't know what's wrong with Moto today. I haven't been able to do anything properly. And yes, I was very lucky this game, but Magic is not a game with 100% skill, so... Someone's gonna get lucky. Sometimes it's you. I'm not going to attack his chase, because there's no point. Your luck is unreal. No, so shut up. I I could say there's no reason to be mad about it, which is what I was going to say, but it's really a waste of time. People are just this rude, or uh, like not going to understand anything. Yeah, like it's the internet. What's he think I'm going to react to this by? Like, arguing with him? I want to, but I know it doesn't do anything. So just take eight and lose. <laughs> What do you take, by the way? I didn't even look. I didn't care. You got the Aetherling. Stay free. Loser. I mean, someone's losing this game, but I don't think it's me. Yeah, this seems in direct contradiction with what he's saying. But, uh, I won the match, which I thought was a bad matchup, but I actually think post-board, I have a lot more on my board for control than he does. I also drew very well uh, the last two games. I drew a lot of lands this game, which was very helpful, uh, in addition to the lands I started out with. And the last game, I actually just missed my third land drop, then drew two lands in a row to resolve Jace and Ralzarek, which were very, very good. So I wonder if he said any... I think that's the only thing... I, I don't usually pay attention to my opponents. Yeah, that was the only thing he said. I'm a super sack. But, uh, yeah. I like this matchup, I think. For the, having the first time played with it. I mean... Every control matchup is just going to be whoever resolves Aetherling first wins, basically. So I think as many counter spells that can deal with Aetherling as possible is uh, pretty much the way to win the control matchup, other than just gaining advantage through Jace, Ralzarek, and uh, Nivele Spectre. And I have more of those cards than he does, since he doesn't have Ralzarek. And Azorius Charm doesn't do anything in this matchup, so thankfully I don't have to play that. Whereas my version, the Izzet Charm, can at least spell, acts as an additional counter spell, so I have about four to six counter spells up on him at any given time, which is pretty key in a matchup that resolve, revolves around resolving spells and having a bunch of lands in play. He does have the draw power Sphinx's Revelation, though, which I try to counter Thrakdos' return. But, uh, yep, that's game. I'll see you all in round three.